Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at the new release of Antics Linux 21. Comes with the ICE window manager and is based on Debian 11 Bullseye. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and you enjoy the videos, you can buy us a cup of coffee or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Antics Linux 21. Debian-based, solid-based. If you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You do not get a welcome screen. First thing we're going to do is zip on over to their website, which is antixlinux.com. I'll be sure to link that in the description below. And on their main page right here, you've got a video covering Antics 19. Now we are on Antics 21, which is their newest release. In here, you've got home, about Antics, release, news, download, forum. You've got a current forum, old forum archive, Antics wiki, and documents. And then over here, download. You've got download torrent files. You've got Antics 19, Antics 17. You've got packages, MX slash Antics wiki, video tutorials, quick tips, bug tracker, and Antics 19 frequently asked questions. If you click on download, it brings you over to the page. It lets you know that Antics 21 was released the 31st of October, 2021. It kind of goes over everything that's been changed and how to download it and burn it to a USB. And then it has a list of mirrors. We will go ahead and scroll back up. First thing I want to do is go ahead and let's close out of this and go to the desktop. And as you can see on the desktop, we do have a Conky over here. It is running the Rox Ice Window Manager. Resolution is presently 1920 by 1080. DPI is 96, auto mounts enabled. I'm using about 4% of the two CPUs I have issued to this machine. Gives you some of your Ethernet traffic right here. RAM, this is what I want to point out. We're presently at 222 megabytes of the two gigabytes of RAM that I have issued to this machine. So we're only using 222. That is lightweight. And if you're somebody that's using older hardware, or maybe you're using new hardware that you just want to fly, Antics is definitely a distribution to take a look at. As you can see, we've only got one panel on the bottom. It's got date and time, sound, and then some CPU and RAM monitors right here. And then you've got two different workplaces over here, one and two. Then you've got Firefox, which we were just in. And then you have your file manager. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Let's scoot this over and let's maximize it. As you can see, this is a little different from some of the file managers that you're used to seeing, but it is extremely lightweight and helps you get things done. Now you can come over here, you can go up, you can go home, you can reset, you can add new bookmarks, edit, you can add a different location or change the icon size if you want. Automatic size mode, show extra details if you want. You can sort by ascending. You can left click to show hidden files, right to show hide thumbs. So you can bring those up with one click. So I'm gonna leave them hidden. But like I said, it's just a light file manager that stays out of your way and lets you do your business. So let's close out of that. You have USB here, software installer here. Let's click on that. And the root password, if you do download this, is demo, D-E-M-O, all lowercase. And right here, manage popular packages. Like on audio, you just click on it. If you wanted Audacity or Pulse Audio, you could check those. You could actually go down through here and check everything that you wanted software-wise. Let's go to video. Let's say you wanted Caden Live and VLC, you just check mark everything you want, or you could do a search. I put in OBS, you come down here and look, screencast, there's OBS, you could check mark that. And once you have everything you want to install check marked, you just come down here, click on install. It'll tell you what dependencies are required. You click on the dependencies, click install, and you have all your software being downloaded to your OS. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Back down to the bottom, you have show desktop, now we've got the Antics app menu, so let's go ahead and open that. Up top, you have Terminal. Let's go ahead and open up the Terminal. I'm sure they have HTOP installed, and they do, and it pretty much coincides with what we're getting on the Conky. The Conky says we're using 241 megabytes of RAM. HTOP says we're using 282, so that's real close. Let's close out of that. Back down to the menu. We've got File Manager we just looked at. We've got Web Browser. You've got Editor. If you click on your Editor, this is Genie. If you have any kind of text editing you need to do, you can pull it up in here. Make your adjustments. Once you're done with that, go up here to File, come down here and Save. Once it's saved, you can restart your system and your changes will be saved. 
applications, Antics, and one thing I do say about Antics Linux is it has a lot of apps out of the box. You've got Android device USB connect, so if you've got an Android phone and you need to move files back and forth, you can do that. Live USB kernel updater, and I like the fact that you can just scroll and the whole window goes up and down. I really like that. ICE Window Manager has always had a soft spot in my heart for that. Then you've got ISO Snapshot. If you click on that, you can take a snapshot of the ISO, save it. So that way in the future, should you have any problems, or if you want to hand it off to somebody else for them to try after the changes you've made, you can do that. So let's cancel. Let's go back up. Let's go down to Accessories, Archive Manager, Fire Jail, Other Desktops, Games, Graphics. You got LibreOffice Draw, Screenshot, Internet, Clause Mail for your mail client, Transmission for your BitTorrent, Multimedia, Alsa Mixer, Poor Man's Radio Player, SM Tube, YouTube Video Player. And if you don't know, you can just click on the YouTube Video Player. You can search YouTube. Let's search for my channel, eBuzz Central. It'll scrape it and it'll bring up right here. Here's the channel and here's the videos for that channel. Like right there is the one I just posted. A short time ago, which is Manjaro, just double click on it. It'll open up the player. And there you go. You can watch YouTube right there on your desktop without having to go to your browser. So let's close out of that. Let's go back up to applications. Office, you have the LibreOffice suite out of the box. Preferences. You can turn on ad block, alternatives configurator, remove menu items, screen light. Set font size DPI, Synaptic Package Manager. Synaptic is really awesome. And once it opens, I'll go ahead and maximize this. You've got different ways that you can get applications from here. You've got broken, community maintained, missing, recommend, search filter, upgradable, search results, selections. You just come over here to the search, type in what you're looking for. Once it pops up over here, just click on it. Once it's clicked on, zip over here to apply and you can install it directly on your system. So let's close out of that. Let's go back up to applications, programming, you got Genie, and then your system, you've got App Select, Boot Repair, Control Center. Let's take a look at the Control Center. This is where you're gonna wanna come if you wanna make some changes, whether it be to the desktop, you can choose wallpaper, edit your ICE window manager settings, preferred applications, customize your look and feel. You click on that, you can pull this over, Right now, it lets you know what theme your widgets are on. You could go over here and go darker if you wanted to. Come down here, click Apply, and it would adjust that. Colors, you can come over here and use a customized color scheme. Icon themes, we're presently using Papyrus Mini Antics. You could go up here. If you wanted to use those, just click Apply, and it would change it across the operating system. Mouse and cursor, font, and other. Let's go ahead and close out of that. You can go down here to Software, Antics Updater, Antics Auto Remove, Package Installer, Repo Manager, System, Choose Startup Services, Alternatives Configurator, Set System Keyboard, then you've got Network, Shares. Now, I do want to point something out. If you do download this and put it on a USB or throw it in a virtual machine and you have issues with resolution, go to Session. Session is where you're going to find it. I looked under Hardware, looked under System, but it's actually under Session. It says Set Screen Resolution. Just click on it. It brings up VGA, let's move this over. Right click on it, go to resolution, and then you can go down here and pick the resolution you want. Once you have it selected, it'll go back, you click the check mark, it'll apply it, and then your screen resolution will be proper. So let's close. Then you've got live disks hardware. You come over here and set everything up that you need to set up here. And then drivers, if you've got an NVIDIA card, it lets you install your NVIDIA drivers right here. And then maintenance. ISO snapshot, boot repair, menu editor, system backup. So let's go ahead and close out of the control center. Back up to applications. We've already covered all those. You've got personal, recent files, desktop, app killer, control center we just looked at, refresh menu, help, antics installer, run, settings, log out. Now, if you right click on the panel, you can tile vertically, you can tile horizontally, you can make changes there to how you want your open apps to show. And then if you right click on the desktop, of course, you're going to have your menu come up here too, so you don't have to go all the way down here. So that's just a quick look at the new release of Antics 21, Debian-based ICE Window Manager, extremely lightweight. If you're looking to put something on an older PC or maybe on lower spec hardware, Antics 21 is definitely something to take a look at. 
Let me know what you think. Is this something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and you like the videos that we're doing, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.